Hi, my name is Gene Dugan. I own Grumpy's of Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to do something that we, I'm utilizing some stuff that's basically I carry around the shop all the time. And I'm always trying to figure out how the hell to make something different for my customers because you've you got to challenge yourself each day so you can make specials and all. And what it is, is I have some trezo. I have it on my menu, I have a trezo sliders for breakfast. So I save some, save some trezo, and if it's, I get some trezo, right? And it's about a pound right here. Then I get about a pound of ground beef, which I always make meatloaf with. So I combine them together. So one day I was sitting there and I said, let's do a Mexican meatball or a Mexican patty. Sorry about the being the thing is, and I came up with an idea. So chorizo is a Spanish sausage. It's primarily very spicy, very has a, not very spicy, it has spice to it, nice smoky flavor and all. And you want to incorporate it, right? And as you're incorporating, I got a pound, two pounds of meat total. And I got about four eggs here, four medium eggs, not large eggs, because I only carry medium eggs. It's easy for me for my inventory and so forth. So I do this, and the reason I use leftover bread, use breadcrumbs, dry breadcrumbs. I mean, regular breadcrumbs, not um, dry, because dry. I can sit there and make it. Um, explain all the proteins and why you need all this, but I use regular breadcrumbs from my leftover bread and all, right, basically, and I mix them. As I'm doing that, I'll incorporate this first. And you gotta remember, everything carries, has water. Eggs have water, there's protein, protein in the eggs, that from the yolks and so forth, and the egg whites are all watery, have water in them, so you gotta make sure you have a little bit more, um, breadcrumbs. I like mine, try to keep mine moist. And if you need to add more breadcrumbs, you more breadcrumbs. I used four eggs. I did two cups of flour. I mean, two cups of breadcrumbs. So I got some cilantro. Mix some cilantro in there. Right? And I got some queso blanco cheese. And I want to do it in there because it's like, every you see those hamburgers that you sit there and bite and the cheese comes flying out at you? I thought of it that way. I get some fresh salsa, and I just pureed it a little bit to give it some chunks. I don't want chunks of tomato in there, so I want it to be nice and gooey and get some run into it, right? So I mix that up there together. Then I got some seasoning. I didn't put too much. I got a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of um, chili powder, a little bit of smoke, paprika, okay? Then I got a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, I wanted to watch out on everything. Then I added a little bit of, this is a quarter cup of, of the adobe sauce, but I don't want to add a little bit of that, okay? The reason why is I don't want to get too spicy for a customer. And what I do here is I'm trying to explain to you the cross utilization of everything in the, in the business. You have to cross, cross utilize everything in order to stay afloat. And even in these tough times with the pandemic, everybody's cutting, watching their cost. And this is a good way to watch your cost because you can make them into a hamburger like this, and serve with the kids. Or what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna form it into a meatball. And I'm wearing gloves because I got so used to forming a meatball. Then I'm gonna just form a couple in the meatball, then I'm gonna cook them off at 385 for probably about 10 minutes. Okay, after three, 385, voila, TV now, everything's done. So what I can do, we can do here, is basically they come out like this, and then, I gotta clean this to sterilize it. They come out, I know they look like crap, but they're gonna be good. Um, basically what I can do is I can stick them on a roll, three or four on a roll, right? Put a little guacamole on there, a little bit of fresh cilantro leaves, uh, sour cream, a little bit of salsa, and you can do it as a dinner. Or you can make them as a patty like the same way. Or you can save these and get some beans, some beans, make it toma fresh tomatoes, and make a soup out of it, a Mexican meatball soup. It's just cross-utilizing everything in this country now that basically you can save yourself some money, 
I can save some, some money, use my culinary expertise to interact certain things. You know what I mean? Not to waste money and not to waste time. You want to make sure when you do stuff like this is that you do not create more labor intense things. You want to make it simple, easy, boom, it's done. Thank you. Have a good night.